I love ecology. I love systems thinking. I love studying how everything relates to everything else. I went to college and I learned about ecology and evolution. I was trained to ask questions about all types of systems. The birds, the squirrels, grass, trees, cute little intertidal invertebrates. Asking questions. What's your life like? Well, things were going pretty rosy until, well, graduate school hits. And I realized, in a world full of pressing issues, I no longer had the luxury to specialize into asking questions of systems of detailed nuance. <laughs> I don't even know my own human ecology. Manipulating space and time You can get to know me No inform and process is the theme of the I enter the grocery store and, well, I become easily overwhelmed. All these diversity of products, these final products, boxes and cans and plastic, everything wrapped and presented so nicely and neatly. So easy to buy with a simple swipe of a card or exchange of a dollar bill. My being a cultural amnesiac, living in this consumer bell jar of detachment, this show this surface. This is all I have ever known. This is all I have experienced. I wonder, what are all the thoughts that are zooming and swirling in people's minds in the grocery store? What types of questions do they ask? Are they just hungry, preoccupied with their stomachs growling? Does it just taste good? Is it just instant gratification and pleasure for the evening? Or do they ask other kinds of questions beyond momentary impulsiveness? What is it made of? Where does it come from? Where does it go? Who made it? How did it get here? To look closer, to think that behind the shiny presentable surface of every final product at the grocery store, there is a rabbit hole, a story, a matrix of people and resources and environments whose lives and welfare revolve around the extraction, production, and distribution of such a resource. A fabric of interdependence we so rarely connect to, relate to, directly experience, see with our very own eyes. Then again, why bother to even ask such questions? Why should he even bother to know? All that matters is that I have what I need, right? I don't care how it works. It just works, right? Why should I care otherwise? <laughs> well, until you get sick. Until you get burned. Until desperation sparks and fuels your once dormant creativity. And then again, it's until all the things you consume start to taste like plastic, literally taste like plastic. Some people just can't live life remaining in a consumer bell jar. What is a rational decision anyway? What is sustainable? Well, 
That's a whole other can of worms. But you know, in my mind, struggle to create a utopia in an inherited world of inefficiencies. I'm convinced there must be at least one product, one product in the grocery store, in the market, one product in the restaurant, just one, that I actually might feel good about consuming, physically and mentally, as if it is a form of educated hunger to actually trace the roots of the thing on my dinner table plate. I guess that's what makes me an ecologist anyway. Those who tend to dissect and overanalyze your food before consuming it. <laughs> you know what? This is really good. Welcome to the matrix of human ecology. Image is no longer everything. What's beyond the surface? The story underlying. Thank you.